Radiation and chemotherapy long-term side effects are still a matter of concern. It is very important that we treat these children with effective modalities of treatment, but there's also this concern that eventually some of these kids will develop long-term side effects, especially with radiation, like neurocognitive uh, deficits, uh, endocrine issues, vascular problems, and of course second malignancies, which are cancers which might develop later on in life, primarily because of the treatment that's been employed. So once these children finish up with their treatment, we have a very standard protocol of following these children periodically every three months with scans and physical exams. And after a certain period, we try to space out these visits to maybe every four months and every six months, depending upon how far they get out from the treatment. And if there are no recurrences, we feel comfortable that we can space out these visits. So these children do require long-term follow-up, especially these kids with ependymomas sometimes have a tendency to have the tumor come back very late after the treatment is complete, sometimes even beyond the traditional five-year period. So these children do require long-term follow-up, and that's one of been that has been one of the findings in our trial that um, that that we suggest that these children be followed longer than the traditional five-year period, because we've had occasional patients in whom the tumor has come back after even after six or seven years, and so it's really vital that these children get the continual continuous care that they need, uh, especially in a center which is, uh, which is well equipped to follow them up for both endocrine long-term side effects, neurocognitive long-term side effects, and of course to kill, still keep a surveillance and keep, uh, keep following up and make sure that this tumor is not coming back.